your palms together and rub them. Bring the base of your thumbs to heart center. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Guru Dev Namo. And now, hold your breath, squeeze more bond. Exhale. Hold out, squeeze. Ad gire name, jugad gire name, sat gire name, sirin guru de ve name. Ad gire name, jugad gire name, sat gire name, sirin guru de ve name. Ad gire name, jugad gire name, sat gire name, sirin guru de ve name. Inhale. Exhale, relax the hands down. Before we start, just chant some long ohms. We'll do it at our own length. Do it at your own pace. You don't have to match me. Eyes closed and really draw your awareness to your heart center, middle of your chest. See if you can feel the mantra vibrating its inhale. Take a few breaths. It's important to have a res resolve or an intention as we go into Yoga Nidra. It can be as simple as inviting in healing energy or 
walking with our higher selves, connecting. to ourselves at a deeper level. Just spend a moment and search ourselves for an intention or a sankalpa. And if you don't find one easily, either Simply going deep into the practice can be it, or inviting in healing energy. But if you have one, just repeat it to yourself once, and then we'll go to Shavasana. lying on your back. <clears throat> Legs should be a few inches apart so your thighs are not touching. Your hands palm up at your sides. If you have a tendency to get cold, cover your feet with something at least, if not more, do you want a blanket? Um, yeah. Okay. I just washed these the other day, so I would not be sketched by them yet. <laughs> You're welcome. Make sure your head is comfortable and in a position it can stay for some time. Close the eyes. Palms are facing up, the feet spaced apart. Any movement you would like to make, please do it now. then you should not allow yourself to move physically for this practice. Keep the eyes and the mouth closed. Stop all physical movement. Lie completely motionless. The body is quiet, but under your control. You are still conscious, although you are not allowing the body to move. No physical movement. No movement of the body. No movement of the toes, fingers, head, or legs. No quivering or any part of the body. No tightening of any muscles. No stretching the body. Now, take your awareness inside and begin to investigate the whole physical body. Every joint and muscle should be completely relaxed. Relax the palms, fingers, relax the feet the toes, the ankles. Relax your calves, muscles, your knees, thighs, hamstrings, 
buttocks, back, your shoulders are relaxed, relax your chest, arms, elbows, hands, relax your head and neck. Relax the whole body. Investigate if there is any tension. If there is tension, loosen it. If the muscles are tight, release them. Now, there should be no physical movement. During the period of Yoga Nidra, you should not move the physical body. No physical movement should take place under any circumstances. No matter what sensations you feel, whether itching, pain, mosquitoes, or insects biting you, no matter what happens, you should not move the physical body. This is the first and most important condition of Yoga Nidra. You are not supposed to sleep. Yoga Nidra is the practice to make you more and more aware, to raise the subtle inner awareness, not the gross upper layer. Let the whole body remain quiet for the, some time and work with the subtle awareness. Now that your whole physical body is quiet and not moving, try to experience all the subtle movements of the body. The physical body is moving on its own without effort, in spite of all control. Which parts are moving? Where is the movement? Are your feet moving? Are the toes or fingers, thighs twitching? Is the head turned to one side? Is the chest or the stomach moving? Yes, the stomach is moving forward and back, up and down. You are not doing this. It is happening on its own and you are not going to stop it. Just watch it. How does all this movement take place? Have you discovered the reason for the movements of the navel, the stomach, the abdomen, and the chest? They seem to be expanding and contracting a little bit all the time. The breath is flowing in and out. And as a result, the chest seems to be expanding and contracting just a little. The breath, breath is flowing in and out. And as a result, the chest seems to be expanding and contracting just a little. And the throat between the collarbones, there also seems to be movements. The depression of the throat seems to be moving upward and downward with respiration. The breath is flowing in and out through the nostrils. The breath is the cause of the inner movements, even causing palpitation and shishuna and between the two eyebrows. In spite of all your control, movement is still occurring in the physical body. This has been going on by itself 
all the 24 hours of the day from the moment you were born. Become aware of this movement, the movement of the breath, the inspiration and expiration through the nostrils. This breath is causing movement in many parts of the body. The grossest movements occur in the abdomen, stomach, heart, chest, throat, and nostrils. These are the grosser movements which I am bringing to your notice. Of course, the whole body is vibrating. Each and every hair of the body and all the energies are moving, but ordinarily we are unaware of it. The breath is going in and out through the nostrils. The breath is going in and out through the nostrils. Particularly watch the process of the breath. The movement seems to be from the navel up to the throat, in and from the throat down to the navel, out. Keep on watching, just witness it. This is the attitude of witnessing. Now let your consciousness rotate between the throat and navel. The movement of the breath may be through the nostrils, but the consciousness must go from the navel to the throat and from the throat to the navel. Before beginning the actual practice of Yoga Nidra, we make a Sankalpa, a short resolve. A resolve can be of three types, material, mental, or spiritual. First, you must choose which kind of resolve you want to make. Some people resolve to rid of bad habits, cure their sickness, serve humanity, achieve some power, but it is better not to waste the power of such on small things. A wise one makes a resolve to attain divine qualities or to achieve progress on their spiritual goals. Choose one thing as your resolve for Yoga Nidra. You are free to make your own choice. I am not trying to influence you. You can make any resolve, whatever you think of. But the Sankalpa must be very brief, only a few words. The same sentence should always be used whenever you repeat this resolve. The wording should not change, even if the meaning stays the same. Every time you practice yoga nidra, meditation, or any sort of discipline, you should remember your sankalpa in the beginning and repeat it a few times. You can decide on one now, or you can wait until later. If you have already decided on one, recall it now. Although you don't have to hurry in choosing your res resolution, you can make it now. If you know what you want to achieve, what you want to be, or what you want to do in your life, make a resolve and fix the language of that resolve. We 
whichever phrase and language you choose, it should always be the same until the resolve is fulfilled. The sankalpa made during the practice of yoga nidra is always fulfilled, but you cannot be impatient. You must wait patiently and keep practicing it. Repeat the sankalpa mentally. Now again, continue with your breath awareness. Make sure you are not moving your physical body. Keep the sleep away and avoid becoming unconscious. Do not become lost in thought. Remain conscious and aware of what I am saying. Follow consciously and not mechanically. Know that you are following what I am saying. Now I will guide you through the different parts of the physical body. One by one, I will take your consciousness to each and every part of your physical body. At the same time, visualize each part and repeat its name mentally. You are not going to make any physical movement you are only going to move the consciousness. Visualize that particular part, which I will name, and say it mentally. Go along with me at the same speed. I will move from one part to another, and you will follow along with your awareness. You will start on the right side. Get ready to move your consciousness. Do not move your body. Now visualize the right hand thumb and say it mentally. Right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. Visualize all five fingers together, palm of the hand, back of the right hand, wrist, right forearm. I am guiding you along the right side. I will tell you when to change. Visualize the right elbow, upper elbow, right shoulder, armpit, right chest, right side, waist, hip, buttock, right thigh, right hamstring, right knee, right calf muscle, ankle, heel, right sole, top of the foot, right big toe, right second toe, right third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all five toes together. Now take your consciousness to the left side. Just as we were visualizing the parts of the right side, now we will visualize those parts on the left side. Start with the left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together, left palm of the hand, left 
back of the hand, wrist, left forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpits, left chest, side, waist, hip, buttock, left thigh, hamstring, knee, cough muscle, ankle, heel, left sole of the foot, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all five toes together. Now I will take you from your toes to the crown of your head. Be prepared. Make your consciousness ready to move from the toes up to the head. Right big toe. Second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe. Fifth toe. All the five right toes together. All five toes together. Visualize all of the left toes together. Now, your consciousness right and left. As I say the parts alternatively, right soul, left soul, both soles together, right heel, left heel, both heels together, right ankle, left ankle, both ankles together, right calf muscle, left calf muscle, both calf muscles together, right knee, left knee, both knees together, right thigh, left thigh, both thighs together, right hamstring, left hamstring, both hamstrings together, right buttock, left buttock, both buttocks together, right hip, left hip, both hips together, waist, lower abdomen, upper abdomen, whole of the abdomen, right side of chest, left side of chest, whole chest, right collarbone, left collarbone, center of the collarbones, throat, right shoulder, left shoulder, right arm, left arm, right elbow, left elbow, right hand, left hand, right thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together, palm of the hand, 
back of the hand, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together, palm of the hand, back of the hand, shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back, right side of back, left side of the back, whole of the spine, back of the neck, front of the neck, the whole neck, chin, lower lip, upper lip, both lips together, teeth, tongue, right cheek, left cheek, both cheeks, right nostril, left nostril, both nostrils, tip of the nose, whole of the nose, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eyeball, left eyeball, both eyeballs together, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, eyebrow center, right temple, left temple, forehead, back of the head, crown of the head, whole face, whole head. Now we will take the body in parts, right whole arm, whole left arm, whole right leg, whole left leg, whole front body, whole back, whole right side of the body, whole left side of the body, whole body together, whole body together, whole body together. See the whole physical form lying on the floor as though you are standing outside of the body Become aware of the touching points between the floor and your physical body. Become aware of the parts of your physical body absorbing energy from the floor. Be aware of the front part of your body as it draws energy from the air. Feel the vibrations of energy moving through your body. This energy is called prana. Feel the vibrations of prana moving through your body. As a result of this practice, the physical body has become completely quiet. Become aware of the other things surrounding you. Be aware of me instructing you in the practice and of you following along mentally. 
experience tranquility, peace and quiet. Become aware of the whole environment and your whole body, whole body, whole body, whole body. Please do not sleep. This is the secret of Yoga Nidra. You should not sleep, especially if you are practicing for spiritual gain. In the practice of Yoga Nidra, you are neither sleeping nor awake, but somewhere in between. The consciousness is functioning with a little bit of awareness. If you want to achieve the state of Yoga Nidra, avoid sleep and do not become lost in thought. Try not to become unconscious. Do not listen mechanically. Listen to the instructions carefully. Follow them and practice what is said. Now, visualize the whole body lying on the floor, completely relaxed and tranquil. Feel the body becoming very hot. Try to experience the sensation of heat throughout the body. Recall the feeling of being very, very hot, whether due to summer sun, a heater, or warm clothing. Try to create the sensation of heat now. Try to feel the sensation of heat exactly as you have experienced it in the past. If you have never felt extreme heat, then try to feel it now. Next, reverse the feeling. Try to feel cold, shivering cold, as if you are standing outside in an icy wind wearing only thin clothing. How chilled you would feel. Try to feel that coldness through conscious effort because there is no cold wind here. There is no external influences affecting the body to make you feel cold. Create this sensation of cold with your consciousness. Try to experience this cold. Now, try to experience heaviness in the physical body. The body is becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. It has become so heavy that you are unable to move any parts you are unable to raise even an eyelid. You are not even able to wiggle the toes or fingers. The body has become so heavy.
now. Experience the sensation of lightness throughout the body. Not heaviness, but lightness. Feel the body becoming lighter and lighter and lighter as if it is completely weightless. The body is so light, as light as a piece of cotton or a feather. Try to experience the lightness of your physical body. Now, we will go on to chakra awareness. In this light physical body, visualize the chakras. Muladhara, your root. Svadhisthana, your sacral. Manipura, your navel. Your solar plexus. Anahata your heart center, Vishuddhi, the throat, Ajna, your third eye, and Sahasrara. Sahasrara is located at the crown of the head. It is associated with the pituitary gland. Ajna, the guru chakra, is behind the eyebrow center. It is associated with the pineal body at the top of the spinal cord. Next is Vishuddhi, located within the spinal cord behind the throat. Below is Anahata, behind the heart. Manipura is behind the navel. Svarasthana, the sacrum. Bit above the tailbone. Muladhara at the base of the spinal cord. These centers are junctions for branches of the nervous system. They are symbolic and are always represented by different colored lotus flowers. Try to remember the location of each chakra and as it is named. Muladhara at the bottom of the spinal cord. Svarasthana in the third disc of the sacrum. Manipura, behind the navel in the spinal cord. Anahata, behind the heart. Vishuddhi, behind the throat. Ajna, at the top of the spinal cord. Sirasrara at the crown of the head. This light body you are experiencing is able to see the subtle body within. 
this light body you are experiencing is able to see the subtle body within and the places where the chakras are situated. Again, remember the locations of each chakra as it is named Muladhara. Svarasthana Manipura Anahata Vishuddhi Ajna Sahasrara Now get ready to end the practice Again remember your sankalpa or resolve and repeat it to yourself mentally three times Now, without opening the eyes, slowly tune into your breath. Feel the subtleties of the breath with each inhale and exhale. Draw your awareness to the shape of your body on the floor. Invite subtle movements into your body with intention. The hands and the feet With your eyes closed, bring yourself into a little ball, hugging your knees in towards your chest. It's very slowly. And let this be a starting point to working your way up to sit, but no rush. And take your time. you are up, keep the eyes closed. And 
So chant Om three times. Inhale. of Yoga Nidra is over. Thank you.